Hi everyone, this is James Wong from Microsoft Resources Tech Team. Today I'll be showing you how you can manage your network licenses, aka floating licenses, from multiple vendors. Besides serving up Autodesk network licenses, there are other vendors who also utilize the Flexera network licensing technology, such as SolidWorks, SmartBIM, and even Gary Technologies. Instead of dedicating a license server just for each vendor, such as one just for Autodesk software, you can consolidate network licensing from multiple vendors, making better use of your server power and also reducing the number of servers you need on your offices. So network licensing actually consists of a few different components. The latest version of Network License Manager is 11.9. This is actually found in the Autodesk 2012 media. If you're running a 64-bit server, make sure you install the 64-bit version. If you're running a 32-bit server, make sure you install the 32-bit version. There's a little mix-up some people have, is that they assume that LM Tools, FlexLM, LMGRD, and ADSK Flex are the same thing. I actually find myself making the same mistakes as well. LM Tools, the License Manager Tools, is the user interface, the UI. FlexLM, Flexible License Manager, is the service that runs on the server. You can call the service whatever you like, but FlexLM is the default name. FlexLM starts the LMGRD executable defined in the Config Services tab, which we'll see in a little bit. ADSK Flex is the vendor daemon specified um, from Autodesk, specified from SmartBIM, SolidWorks, etc. To oversimplify things, FlexLM service calls the LMGRD, which then calls ADSK Flex. It's good in knowing the difference between these terms because knowing what each and every one of them does will help you in troubleshooting any issues that should arise. So now that we got the details about network licensing out of the way, I'm just going to go into my server and click on LM Tools Utility. Double click on it and it gives you the user interface that starts up. Before we begin and do any configuration, I'm just going to go to the Help menu, hit About, and verify the version number. You'll see that the version number is 11.9, which is the latest one provided by Autodesk. You can actually use this LM Tools to configure um, license management for SmartBIM, SolidWorks, VM, and all other stuff. So click OK for that. You'll notice that I already have a FlexLM Service 1 already configured since I'm accessing my server from New York, my main server providing licenses for my training rooms. Um, I've already configured this server. I already also checked this LM Tools ignores license file path environment variable. This will override any environment variables you have on your server, making it more efficient and streamlined. So click on the Config Services tab right now. You'll notice I'm just going to hover over the service name and click once. When this is selected, you have the ability to actually change the service name and just type directly into it. I'm going to just type SmartBIM. And when you hover over the path to LMGRD and click once, you'll notice that all the paths will disappear, giving you an opportunity to browse for your LMGRD file. Drag this window down and you'll see that I already have some files pre-configured and loaded. That's because I installed the Network License Manager from the SmartBIM installation. You see the SmartBIM and the NLM folder already configured. So I'm just going to browse to the path to LMGRD, browse to the license file that I got from SmartBIM, and browse to the debug log. I'm going to click on New Service and Start Server at Power Up. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on Save Service. So would you like to save the service? I'm going to click yes. So I'm basically done. Um, if you click on the start, stop, and read, read tab, you're able to start. You notice that there's two services in your in your LM tools. Flex LM Service One is my Autodesk vendor. Um, all my Autodesk software is provided by Flex LM Service One, and all my Smart BIM licenses are provided by my Smart BIM service. So all I'm going to do is highlight the Smart BIM service and click start server. You notice that the server starts successful. Right here, it's you're basically done in configuring and making it work. Um, typically, this is a very straightforward process that won't take you more than I would say five or ten minutes. So that's it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to check out my blog and my YouTube channel for more relevant videos that'll help you make your IT, CAD, and BIM management a bit less painful. Feel free to leave any comments or even suggestions for my next video below. Until next time, this is Jane Wong from Microsoft Resources Tech Team, signing out.